And we are back with Rajan and Quang 2.2 And NS is back, so we can talk on his back at last NS, can you turn around for a bit so we can talk in your, on your back? No Okay <laughs> Anyways, Hell is out because... Well, because... He's late like always Yeah Sorry, but I'm really busy today and I really didn't feel like delaying this freaking... Freaking part at all Anyway, so where are we going now? We're going to explore more the testing facility. All right. I, I have to play this game again, really. I haven't played this game in like quite some time. It's been years since. <laughs> and if you hear a, ba a little bit of background on my mic, it's because YouTube has been screwing on me and they did accept the microphone. Instead of accepted my computer sound thing. Anyways, we actually have an HQ 20, 22 or 22 or whatever. It's 22. Yeah, it's 22. You can just say 22, but actually, yeah. I. Yeah, I'll explain this later. Uh, for now, I'll just say, what do you think of this weapon? Uh, I think it's alright. Wow, that's all well, I have. I haven't played this game, so. Then play it! What are you waiting for? Ah, <laughs> uh, the mini turret. Here we go again. Yeah, I'm trying to upgrade. Actually, we're on in a few parts. We're gonna actually upgrade it to Mega Turrent. But that's for later. Yep. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I actually normally use the sniper rifle to destroy that thing, but since I don't have it at this point, I didn't. Destroy robots, destroy robots. And these are the rob or, or similar robots from the first game, actually. It's at the. Um, when they get hit, they freaking the spotlight tries to go to you to shoot you and kill you. Oh and my god! And in the first game, they actually need torrents to actually try to shoot you, but they they have the freaking gun instead in this game. Yeah. I don't know if you already said this here, but um, I'm gonna say it anyways. Uh, here in Portugal, we had a little bit of um, we had um, the I think it was the Insomniac director. He came here and uh, previewed Ratchet and Clank 2. Oh uh, yeah, yeah we did. I, I I totally forgot about that. I actually read that back on the time when I was still in new but ga video games. It's been so so long time since I told you that actually that I can't freaking remember that. <laughs> Fortunately, my mind is still good. Anyway, yeah, but that that's was coming like from the guy that mistakes stuff all the time. Anyways, there's something I must say here. I actually didn't know until I was trying to. See the meaning of this weapon's name, uh, meaning. But apparently, on lock on mode, you're shooting the thing at the same time, and Sabu Tem is lock on the, the same enemy. Apparently, there's a glitch that uh, involves the lock on that uh, when you're lock on, you can only do a damage per frames per second or something like that. So that means when you're using lock on, even though the three are attacking at the same time, you won't, it only count as like one has hit it. Wow. So I don't recommend this using this on lock on the HQ22 on lock on because okay. it does less damage than just using normally. And I just freaking forgot to put slingshot there. Actually, uh, yeah. But I'm <laughs> gonna still I'm gonna still use lock on because I didn't know. By the way, the meaning of HK22 I have no I have no clue what that means. So I'll just put an annotation. I know what it, it is, but I just don't know what the hell that means. I'll put an annotation there so you can know what HK does mean. 22 is just the, the number of the series, apparently. I don't yeah, know. like a, like every normal weapon. Basically. Yeah, it's the number of the weapon and as not Ooh, the, every time. Yeah, but before that, Nero Death Boost that is one of the hardest that can be easily gained by a glitch in challenge mode. But I'll talk about that later. Okay. This must be Actually, I'll talk about it now. Uh, that nano that boost you can get easily on challenge mode after you unlock the first person view, which allows you to use the glitch called climbing glitch that you can use by throwing the hair branch by using the square button and the X button at the same time, making you climb and getting the nano test boost. Ah, uh, that robot is such a jerk. <laughs> exactly. And now we're gonna use the glider. And this is like uh, actually the first time you've seen this uh, doing the commentary. So, what do you think of the glider before we get to the gimmick of this one? I think the glider is a... Uh, when I when I used the glider, the first thing that came to my mind was Pilot Wing 64. Don't know why, don't ask. Anyway, but I think the glider is very... Uh, 
It's very good to use. I'm actually, I got quite used to it when yeah, I... Yeah, it, they did it there so they could put some variety. But this one is quite hard because there's a, like a, a lot of obstacles, but compared to the next one is freaking hell. This one is pretty easy. And now this is the funny part. Here I'm getting the platinum belt that you have to go here, and then I suddenly crash, and then I thought I was dead, and I survived. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing powers of the game. Amazing powers of glitching. That was that was really lucky. By the way, the normal way to get the nano test boost, you have to actually turn around, which is freaking hard to do. You have to turn around in this place that we were, and then turn around all the way back to the freaking thing. It's freaking hard as shit. Even if you do turn back, it's hard to actually lift up and freaking get the nano test boost in the freaking angle that you are. So fuck you, Sardiac, for doing that. But. The, uh, at the same time, thank you for the glitch. Yeah. And then again, fuck you for the lock-on glitch. I like the frick using HK1022 with the freaking lock-on mode. The what the fuck? Experiment. It's a point, oh. uh, Sonic. Why am I talking Square Enix? Fuck. I think. Okay, I that the computer is what? telling us me what ten thousand bolts. Yeah, because everything is expensive. I mean, <laughs> version yeah. like one, we only needed five hundred. Freaking things got in Infobot, and now we, just to, to watch. I mean, we are not even getting the freaking TV for ourselves. We are just watching the freaking video. By the way, this guy sounds like kind of like me. He just said, "If you're watching this, you're fired." Huh. It but it has a more manly voice. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, the prototype. Attempts at you know who I... This guy reminds me of James Earl Jones. Limited somehow. <laughs> Why? I don't know, uh, the voice. It kind of looks like him. And those science got eaten. Great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a long the game. Log ...indicates that we were the first to view that recording. So Biz Widget must not know. Wow. We've got to warn you him. You got to that logic, Ratchet? Hello. Wow. Mr. Fizzwitch, well, if we were the Mr. Fizzwitch is here. Sir, okay, but, but let's think about this a little. If we were the first ones to watch, why the hell hasn't Fizzwitch watched it since he's the freaking main cop director or something like that? I mean, wouldn't this be sent to him? I don't know. And by the way, what, if this, if, if you were watching this, you were fired, why the fuck would it be in the middle of this facility? It doesn't look like... Where is this message coming from? It isn't... That place that they wore, it doesn't look like this planet at all. Uh, yeah. And why does it, why is it all the way on the top? And why wasn't it working? And why am I asking stupid questions? This is version and Clank. Uh, whatever. Oh, why? Cartastic? Face palm. Jesus, the password is Cartastic. That doesn't sound suspicious at all. Anyway, we're going to the next planet. Yes, to the freaking Megacorp games! Oh boy, that But place. before we do, we actually have a scene. Why going to the planet? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Megacorp games in Joba. Joba. Planet if Joba. you don't have a job, just go to Joba and Megacorp <laughs> games! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice way. Nice way. Maybe that, that's, that's what they're thinking when they created the name Zoba. Well, you're out okay. of job? Then go Not participate so in the Megacorp game! But hey, look, it's that, it's that, it's hey, look, it's that guy. Uh, who's who's this guy's like name again? Uh, he doesn't have one. Whoa, He's just the Tux for us, either. And that's all. Be, uh, an well, who would you, what name would you give to this guy? What kind of scum do you I think know. we are? I just know he's apparently say, gonna get a lot of bolts. A lot of bolts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this this so, guy just it, wants bolts, not people. Uh, yeah, so it seems like um, the Tug has a new leader, a new boss, so that that pays Thank a lot of money. Who is this boss? And why am I asking this question? Uh, You're gonna find out anyways. So see you in the next part where we take the Megacorp games!